and hello everybody how you guys all out there doing today welcome back welcome back it's been a while it's been a while and the reason it's been a while is because i've been doing a lot of tree and bee breeding and yeah the last time i left you guys off is we were playing with our we went to the jungle and we came home and I've been doing a lot of tree breeding and I came up with a brand new tree sapling called a, te a teak sapling, guys. And look at this wood. Oh, wow. And you guys got to see this stuff. You guys got to see this. Um, it looks really, really nice. Really, it does. So the teak sapling is a percent dropling that you can get between one of... The uh, jungle trees and a, uh, what is a speckled wood? What is a speckled wood? I've seen something called a speckled wood. What is called a speckled wood? Did you guys just see that? Something called a speckled wood? It must have been a bee I was looking at. No, I was looking at a dark oak and it said speckled wood. That's strange. Okay, so we're going to hop up on top of these trees here real quick. And we're going to use one of these grafters. And I'm going to show you guys some of the stuff and things that I've been up to. Actually, we don't need that. We're going to use this because it's the way I've been getting up here. And we're going to go ahead hop up on top of this. And we're going to check this for mutations. All right, so this is a Minecraft regular jungle tree, right? So what, what happened with this is because it's a default jungle tree, it would start to turn into something like this. And regular trees like apple, tr I mean like uh, oak trees and dark oak trees, spruce trees, those ones, they would grow fruits on them. You know, anything that has a solid leaf like this, they would grow fruits on them. All right. That would kind of grow like, look like a jungle sapling leaf. All right, so that's the kind of thing we're looking for on this. Is we're looking for like a solid leaf color on this. And that's how you get these things separated. Then again, we also have the JEI or whatever you call this thing that kind of tells us that it looks different. All right, so we're going to go ahead. We're going to jump across this thing. Give it a quick once over. See if there's anything different on here. All right, nothing really. All right. Let's go ahead. Let's hop up on top of these. Bada bing, bada boom. Like so. See if there's anything up on here. You know, anything at all. Um, sometimes you might get this. This is how you get the Coco Bolo, by the way. It's also dependent by biome. You could take these same exact two trees, the jungle and the uh, dark oak, and you could breed them in a forest and get a s different kind of sapling. You could see that cherry sapling way at what wrong thing um you, way over there that is a hybrid of a jungle tree and a uh, hilltop cherry and it looks pretty good but what we're looking for right now is we're looking for a special kind of things so i could show you this real quick all right um nothing nothing so far all right um everything looks right about the same aha right here okay you see how this one got um, you see how this one got like little fruits on it, similar to this right here? Well, that's the kind right there that we want to break with the grafter. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to break that, and we get a jungle sapling. All right, now what you do with this is you, you go ahead and you get the portable analyzer out. It has 10 honey drops. Now, you always want to, uh, to analyze this. We're going to say we got like two honeycombs from this one. All right, now you want to have like, a meadows or a regular forest anything that could provide a, a normal drops for you okay this one over here it's gonna provide like cocoa things all the time or sugar so what I want to do is I want to take these I want to drop them inside of this and it's gonna give me honey drops or beeswax I'm gonna take this put some more honey drops inside of this we'll see if we can see this in action 
and you see, get some honey drops. Now you don't get these honey drops from any of the other stuff and things, but let's go ahead, let's put this in there. And it grows faster, it grows larger, and it's a one by one, which means it doesn't grow into a two by two anymore. All right, so it's a jungle dark oak hybrid. Now I have a ton of these things. Now, do, if you wanna look and see if it has anything else, you can always come in here, you can see, okay, it grows cocoa, all right. Um, possible produce, um, and these are the mutations, all right? So how this works is a jungle sapling plus a teak can give you a kapok. A jungle sapling plus a hill cherry can give you a papaya. Now a jungle sapling plus a dark oak can give you a teak, which is what we already have. A jungle plus an acacia can give you a paduk. And a jungle plus a papaya can give you a date palm and that's basically all the mutations that we know of so far for the jungle tree because that's a one by one i'm going to go ahead and put that in there now i also have another new tree that i found by mistake it's a common walnut this thing dropped from a cherry tree and i'm just still trying to figure out how i got this thing all right so i can pull this thing out of here and bring it over here. I can put it inside of this thing, which I cannot pronounce. And it has a very large genealogy. And you have to try to figure this one out. And it's hard. You know, I don't even understand this. It's. All right. So we got the Grandelier Babu. All right. Nope. All right. Nope. Usually for me, I kind of like to try to get these first two up here and then try to uh, see what I can get like with, nope, all right. That's an apple oak. All right, we got white poplar, white poplar. <gasps> okay, we just unlocked this one. And... Common walnut, we get a sweet chestnut. Common walnut, this is new. We just learned this together. All right, so a common walnut and a hill cherry can give you a sweet chestnut. Not bad. Let's go ahead and learn that. There we go. So we just learned how to make that together. All right, so let's go ahead and we'll shove this thing inside of here. I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. The teak saplings, those things are new. Um, I'm still trying to wait and see if I can get a cocoa bolo out of this. It might be biome dependent, so I might have to drag some dark oak over to a jungle and set that up and see what will happen. But I wanted to kind of stick around over here and do some work like over by our other biome. These things right here like this, this is a... Uh, silver lime tree but it's also a, a hybrid as is this right here um nothing this is a hybrid of a dark oak and a birch so it's gonna it grows in a uh, double i have the saplings for that by the way i can show you guys that it's kind of cool um let's just get up here i'll show you guys this um i got it in a two by two chest uh it's real here it is right here Silver birch, dark oak. Um, girth is a two by two. Height is small. Its yield is lowest. So if I grab this, let's go ahead and we'll put that inside of here real fast. And we'll put that through here. All right. It matures faster. Its height is small. Its girth is a two by two. Yield is lowest. Sappiness is low. Effect is none. It grows in the plains. Possible mutations. So basically a silver birch and a red spruce can give you mundane larch. You can get a silver lime. You can do this and get a white poplar. So a white willow plus a silver birch can give us a white poplar. Ooh, I've always wanted to unlock that. We'll have to try that sometime. But let's go get ourselves a little bit of a nap before all the danger comes out. And let's head on down to the docks. I mean, this has been quite a grind trying to find the perfect wood for our docks down here. And I found this today 
and I wanted to bring you guys in and show you what I figured out. Okay, so all of this oak wood that we have, we we already have enough of that wood right here. Okay, so all of this oak wood that is on here, let's just go ahead and drop down into the water, and all of this, we we're going to go ahead and remove it. All right, I want to show you guys what this other wood looks like against this. All right, I think it looks really good. Um, it accents a really well against the, uh, all right, I wasn't expecting this, but okay, there we goes. One of the things I wish is that Forge would actually start to update here soon, because I would love to play with Forestry for, uh, 1.14. Or not 1.14, that would be nice, but, uh. 1.13 is what I meant to say. We're going to go ahead and yoink all of this off. And I already did start to lay some of this down because I tried to record er earlier and failed miserably at it. So, yeah. <laughs> all right. Let's just go ahead and scoop all this up. And we can get up here. Let's eh. There you go. So this is what that teak wood looks like against this right here. I kind of like it. I really like it. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to switch out from this oak because we're it kind of overpowers the area. And I don't want to use it no more. All right. I just want to kind of replace it with something better. And the teak seems to accent the outside a lot better than the oak because the oak just seems to overpower it i mean we built the uh we built the trade house with it but at the same time it just needs to go maybe sometime we'll go and conquer the dragon but for right now <laughs> i'm not too interested in it all right, let's get up top and give me this. I'll show you, we'll start working on this from like right above. All right. Um, what do you guys see exactly how much wood I have? Um, I've been very, very, very busy. <laughs> all right. Um, I could get inside through here. And if we climb this, whoa, lag spike. I don't know where that came from. All right, let's get in here and I'll show you guys what I've been up to. So we go up here to lumber. We have a ton and I mean a ton of dark oak. All right, so let's finish framing this in because we need this. All right, this is where it's going to be going out and attached to that right over there. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's drag this thing over here. Um, or maybe not with that thing right there take this over to about like that and let's see here so we're gonna have ourselves like a docks they're they're gonna come down we're gonna have areas for boats but at the same time I need this this is how many spaces apart one two three four five six okay that is like six apart right there um, I think maybe about right here we should raise this a bit higher because we have this bridge over here. And what we do from this is we come across one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and pull this one out. There we go. Four, like so. All right. There we go. We'll yoink this one off. Yoink that one off. And from here, one, two, three, four, which means we have to have a pillar like right about here. So, you know what? We're just going to go with the uh, dark oak, bring this thing up like so. And maybe we should do the same exact thing like right here. Yep. 
There we go. And for this piece to work right here, what I want to do is, whoops, not right there. What I want to do is come straight across this like this. There we go. And we'll connect that one up like right there. All right. So I think what we'll do is we'll just get rid of this this pillar right here. And do that right there. There we go. So what we'll have is a natural pillar that comes across. And yeah, that should work out good. All right. Um, does this need an extra pillar up? Yes, it does. As does this. Because what we're going to have is a staircase that comes up over here. So, yeah, that's going to need to happen. Then what we can do is come over here. And what we'll do is we'll just bring this thing the whole way across. And we'll connect it up with our bridge. But I want to be able to bring it over and connect it up like right about there. But I think I think this will do. Okay, this is a nice path. It's something we can work with. If I can get up on top of here. There we go. There we go. And what we'll do is we'll chop this piece off right here. Do that and bring this across. Now you can't strip the wood because this isn't Minecraft 1.14. Um, well, 13 or 14. This is... Forge hasn't been invented yet. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Forge hasn't been invented yet. That's probably the best way you can put it. Forge hasn't been invented yet. All right. Let's just get right on ahead. Bring this one across like this. Let's get up top. There we go. And drop down here. Knock all this off right here. All right. I think this is looking good. Um, I'm not a big fan of this, but maybe if we, there we go, did something like that. Um, give me this. There we go. Wasn't a big fan of that texture right there. And for right about here, I think, whoops. There we go. I think we got it. I think we got it this time. There we go. This should work out nicely. Yeah. And where we have these other corners... We can just go right on ahead, lop these things off. We'll go ahead, grab this, put these things in it in their place. There you go, kind of like that. And all we need now is some teak wood. So let's see what this looks like. All right, let's grab this. But you know what? Here's a question for you guys. All right, here's my my biggest question. What if we use this and we just use it like this? You know, right up against it. Would that be too busy? Yeah, it'd probably be too busy. I mean, it is smooth, but at the same time, it seems like it's too busy. 
Um, we're going to need a lot more of this wood. And let's see here. Some of this is going to have to come out. All right. Let's go ahead, joint this out. And my character needs to go take a nap. I didn't realize what time it was. All right, I'll be back. All right, guys. I uh, just went out and farmed up a whole bunch of this stuff. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and... What did I just do with that thing? Did I seriously just... Yes, I did. All right, so let's see here. Let's just boom, and there we go. Aha. So here's our uh, teak saplings. I had to scan those things real quick. These are those uh, two by twos for the silver birch. <laughs> I just made sure I shoved those things away. But these teak saplings, oh, I love these things. I love them a lot. These things are awesome. So what I want to do is I need to come down here. I need to get back inside. I didn't plan on hit. Okay, I guess I have to go around. Look at these things, guys. These things actually grow cocoa beans inside the leaves. <laughs> They're dark oak trees that grow cocoa beans. So if you ever needed cocoa beans, those things will go for you. All right, so let's get inside here and find me a crafting bench. I could have sworn I had one. All right, you know what? We're just going to make one. Here, use a dark oak. Get a crafting bench, bada bing, bada boom, and set this thing like right about here where we can use it. Let's grab this, bada bing, bada boom, here we goes. And let's grab this, slab it up. There we are. Oh yeah, look how many slabs that thing made. Slab it up. There we are. And we're gonna go ahead and just do one of these. And let's see what this thing looks like now. Oh yeah. Oh, this looks so much better. Oh, I love this. This does look a lot better. I have to admit, yeah, this does look a lot better than what I had hoped. And let's just go right on ahead. I'm going to go ahead and fill in some of this with this stuff. And I'm still curious, though. We're going to do this first cell with this. Like, come across, like, maybe right about here. Because this is where our boats are all going to be. Um, these things that come across, like, right here... We're not going to be using those supports much longer. Those things I can go right on ahead and whack out. Um, or we could use them. I'm not sure what I want to use them for. But we're going to go ahead and do something like this. There we go. Uh, like this thing right here that comes down. All right. We're obviously we're going to need to make a staircase of some sort for right here. Right. So how about we come across, do something like this, pull this piece out. All right, we do something like this, bring this in. Because it needs to come down and then it needs to drop down by one more. And I think what I want to do is I want to square it off with that one right about there. So we're going to go ahead and drag this one across. There we go, and we can do this, and bring this teak wood maybe about right over this side, and what we can do right here is something like this, yeah, yeah, kind of like that right there, all right, just basically adding in an extra stair step coming up and across over on this side. Instead of building a stair, we do it this way. Let 
you know, kind of just use our stuff to, at our disposal for this. Yeah, I know it's dark out. It's 1.12 though. I don't have to worry too much about it. <laughs> but we'll go take a nap anyways. Just like a good little boy. There we go. Sweet chestnut. There we go. Uh, wrong way. So we got this really nice teak wood for out here. And what I'm thinking we should do is, you know what I'd love to do? You know, just for this step area right here where it comes down. Do something like that for right there. You know, I wonder if this thing can go into a four by four. No, it just makes a wood pile. Forget that. Um, we'll have to see what we can play with with that. You know, we'll have to play with it. See what we can come up with. But let's see here. This area, like, that goes around, it comes up like this. All right. So what we're going to need to do for, like, in this area, what I want to do here is we'll raise this one up. Put one here. Here. Looks like there should be one there. You know, just for some tight docks. Let's pull out over here. I'm curious. Yeah, do that like right there. You know, just kind of make it pop out. And let's see here. Put some up on top of that, maybe. Um, I don't know. Let's finish fin filling this in right here. Wish I could change my pointer in this game. There we go. All right, so what? Sorry about that, guys. That would be my insurance company being a bunch of neb shits, but uh, <laughs> I'm sure you guys know what that feels like. All right, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to bring this one across, like right about here. I want to kind of bring this one up. I'm going to leave this one right about at this height over here. Because, let's see here, can we put this in here and let's get me a little bit more of this. And we're going to go ahead and plug one of these right here. And we're going to leave this one right about here. Let's see here, what can we do with this? Um, we could use a little bit more of these stairs. Um, what I'm going to do is start plugging away at pulling these things out. There we go, much like that. All right, let's go ahead and start bringing these things over. And there we go. All right, let's get some extra stairs. Let's see what we can do here. Come on, open up. Um, one, two, three, four. Ba boom, 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 bam, boom. All right, can we just make some stairs? And it looks like we're going to need some more slabs as well. All right, let's do this. Let's see here now. So I need an extra stair for coming across maybe about right here. Now where this log comes across and meets up with this one, 
Um, because this right here is actually supposed to be a support, what I want to do is I want to, I, I really wish I could add a cap onto it like this, but I can't do that because it's not in this. We're going to go ahead. We're going to add this and just kind of cap it with that right there and see what this looks like. I think it doesn't look half bad. I might be able to do something like this. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, two, three, four, five. Hmm. Sounds like that should be right about there. And this post would just need to move over one more. I could do that. Not today though. All right, let's see here now. So this post, this comes up right about here. It matches up. It comes up here onto this. Um, I would love to integrate that sandstone, but I think I'm going to integrate that sandstone into like over there on that edge um, where this thing comes across like over here on this edge. You know, we need to get this thing functioning and working its way over towards the uh, towards this area over here. So let's see here. What can we do with this? Um, put these in here. There we go, and we might need a little bit more. You know what? Just do this, and let's go make a bunch more slabs. There we go. That's more than enough to work with for right now. For right now, at least, it is. All right. Um... Just go ahead. Let's just start filling this in. Now remember, this is going to basically come around. It's going to wrap itself around this little edge right here. And we're going to bring this all the way over towards the bridge over there. And I need some type of wood, maybe a jungle, maybe a jungle to integrate this into the, uh, I think is, yeah, maybe a jungle and maybe a little bit of something else to kind of integrate the woods into that over there um a spruce might accent this you know instead of having one all solid but this looks like it matches real good for outside it does it looks real good i like it um i'm gonna go ahead and put this thing like right here just until i can get some caps out here on top of these things And that will give us a little bit of lighting for out here until I get some lanterns lit and all of this put together. So I'll probably have to redo, remodel this down here at the end of the bridge. Because that's going to go down there towards where our city is going to be built. Well, our village is going to be built over that way. But yeah, pretty much kind of like this. But guys... I ran into about 32 minutes, almost 33 minutes of this episode. Um, maybe we can montage the rest of this tomorrow. Um, next week, we'll be hopping back into 1.14. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying this. If you are, be sure to slap that like button. And I'll see you guys next episode. Catch you later.